Hey internet, welcome to Thermal Dynamics tutorial 1-68. So it is the uh, same as 1-67, except they added an oil section which replaces the air section. They give us the SG specific gravity 0 0.69. So this was the original question and they replaced this section with oil. Assumptions are the same, liquids are incompressible, air column is negligible because there is no air column anymore, or if there is, it's very tiny. Okay, and pressure is uniform due to low density. Once again, we, might, we multiply the SG of the substance by the density of water, so again SG of mercury times the density of water, same for the oil, and we get the density of mercury and density of oil. Okay, step one, well, step zero is to find the density of the oil. Step one, draw your FBD of your diagram, same as before. Okay. So, solving it, the given formula is this. We're trying to find the absolute pressure, so which is P1. So, P atm is your atmospheric pressure, which is given. Density of mercury, which we just solved. Gravity is assumed. Height is given for mercury. Oil, we just solved. And height is in the diagram. Density of water that is given. Okay, so we have everything. We just rearrange for P1, which is absolute pressure. And you'll give this equation. So everything is positive except for the oil, which is negative. Disclaimer. The method is correct, but I may make a mistake. I encourage you to solve it yourself and see if you get the same answer. Okay, so PATM given. <clears throat> so this is imperial gravity. So we take that out because it's a common factor. Then we multiply everything with that. So this is density of mercury, mercury height, plus the water density, and then water height, and we subtract the oil density and oil height, and cancel out your units, and you should get 17.7 psi. Thanks for watching, hope you had a great day, be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell, turn on all notifications. Leave a comment below if this tutorial was helpful. Until next time, see ya.